Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have worked for 40 years for uh, pharmaceutical industries. Uh, I have worked for big names like uh, Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. In this tutorial, I would like to explain you how to predict shelf life of a drug using linear regression with R statistics. Now, let me define uh, what is stability of a drug. Stability of drug product can be defined as the capacity to remain within the established specification that is to maintain its identity, strength and quality and purity throughout the shelf life. In stability studies, we have to keep samples of different batches at different conditions. For accelerated studies, we have to keep sample at 40 degrees centigrade and 75 percent relative humidity and the testing interval is initial and after three months and after six months. For long term stability studies, we have to store the sample at 30 degrees centigrade uh, at, at 65 percent relative humidity and we have to test uh, uh, initially and, and, and then after every month for six months and, and then after 12 months for the first year and for second year we have to test it after 18 months and 24 months and then twice per year till the, till, till the expiration of the product shelf life of the now let's uh, come back to our main topic for this tutorial which is uh, assigning shelf life with R statistics. How to use R statistics to, to predict shelf life. Uh, for this purpose we have to keep three batches of drug product at uh, real time stability status at a storage condition as mentioned on the label of the product. Now, uh, now this is the testing interval for real time stability study test. Uh, as uh, as I told you before, that we have to test initially and 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 and, and each month for six months and and then twelve months, and and the first year and and the first second year we have to test after eighteen months and twenty four months, then twice a year till the shelf life plus one more month, and how to predict shelf life on basis of initial six month results using R statistics, since 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 uh, we, we we want to know the. Um, predicted shelf life uh, on, on, on the basis of data, initial data of the six months and how to do it, I will explain you how to use uh, R statistics for this purpose. Now here are the results for six months stability studies for batch number one, batch number two and batch number three and these are the, the this is the content of uh, the product in, in, in terms of the percentage and here is the actual test results and the content on, on, on basis of initial tests as calculated as 100 percent. So, so, so these are the results for initial results and one month, two months, six, three months, four months, five months and six months. Now you can see that for batch number one after six months we are getting 98.33 percent of the active and for batch number two it, this is 97.78 percent and for batch number three it is 98.12 percent. Now content drop at batch two 97.78 is more as compared to batch number one and batch number two, three. So batch number two is the worst case so we will calculate our, uh, we, uh, our predicted shelf life on basis of the results of batch number 2. Now here is the results for the batch number 2, uh, initial results of 6 months and uh, now we have to assign shelf life with RS statistics. If now assigning shelf life with R statistics, this is the results of batch number 2. I, initial six months result of batch number two uh, at real time stability studies, and 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 we we uh, we 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 are going to predict the shelf life on on, on the basis of this uh, six results, six months results. Now carry out the linear regression by feeding above data in our statistics program to find out the intercept and slope of the line. 
Now this R statistics program is uh, free. You, you can download this program from the internet and, and we are going to feed our data into this R statistics program to find out the intercept and, and the slope of the line for these, uh, these data. Now how to do it? Let me explain you. We will just go back to we will go back to our to our statistics program first. Let me open this program. Here it is. Now we have to import the file where uh, our data is, is stored. So we have to go to our this document and then to stability file and then we have to load the worksheet where we have the data for batch number uh, 2. Now we are importing this here. Now the, it, this is the data which we have imported into this R uh, statistics and the month is uh, mm, uh, independable and content is uh, dependable. Now we have to write uh, uh, the command for linear regression analysis L M. linear regression mode and then we have content and then month and then uh, where it is store or or R and then we just have to click it very very easy to do it now it's, it's, it's so simple to find out the intercept and and, and the slope of the line with this uh, program which is called R statistics program and and this you, you can load it free from the internet now the uh, intercept is uh, 100.0893 and uh, the slope of the line is minus this is in, 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 in minus 0 0.3707. Let's go back to our slide. Show. Now let's go back to our slideshow again. And this is how 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 to assign self life with R statistics. From R statistics, we, we, we already calculated the value of the intercept and the slope of the line. Now we will put this intercept and the slope of the line into the formula in our next slide. Now let us uh, put our uh, value of intercept and slope of the line into the formula. The formula is y is equal to intercept plus minus slope of the line into x. Uh, here uh, y is equal to 90. Uh, since uh, uh, our specification for the content of active at the end of the shelf life is 90 percent. Uh, we, we, we can easily calculate the value of x. The value of x here is uh, 27.2 months. Hence, in this case, the predicted shelf life is approximately 2 years. This is how we can calculate uh, with uh, R statistics. Uh, the, we, we can predict the shelf life.